Hey lads, this is day 165 of my series to get to 2k on chess.com. We're currently rated 1690. We dropped a little bit because we played some dubious openings in the last game. And so let's climb back up a bit higher. You guys are getting very creative with your pinnable comments on the channel. We're really helping a cause for those overseas viewers. Let's see who we're playing today. 1758 from Ukraine. I always wonder, are people actually from Ukraine or do they just have the flag to support Ukraine? Uh, maybe he is from Ukraine. His name's Andy Ryshenko. So that sounds kind of like a Ukrainian name. Um, okay, bishop has come out, so we're going to be playing f3. I always like when I see the bishop come uh, all the way up here. And actually, um, e4 is a better move. I think. E4. Tick, 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 tick. No, it's not. Not yet. Yeah, we'll go for this. Um, I was thinking when the knight wasn't on F6, it's a better move. Um, we'll put the... Put the pawn here and go here, here, here. Here doesn't work yet, but probably play the bishop to d3 here. I'm going to take that. Um, and we'll go here. The bishop holds the pawn, so we're okay there. And this is looking fairly good. He's got an A here, so let's just stop that. And we can castle long here, which is always a bit of a worry. But castling long is what we want to do, because uh, when we go for this push, if he takes, takes, um, we don't want him to be able to grab this rook. So I think castling long here looks really good. Okay, this is defended twice, so we're fine here. Let's castle. I do have this move. I'm wondering if it's good. I think it might be, actually. He could come here, and then we just take off his dark squared bishop. And he takes with his queen. It might be the way to go. Here, okay, now how does he defend it? So you got to go here, make, make room, here, here. The reason is, I don't think my knight is really involved in the attack, you know? Uh, and he's got three pieces all coming up here for the king, you know? So I need to be careful of that. I do think this seems like a very decent move just to get rid of this bishop. Right now he's like threatening a sack and stuff's gonna open up. If I go here immediately, then he has to protect his queen. Now he can go here, we just take with the bishop, so we're totally fine there. Maybe you guys can hear the rain outside. It's uh. It's raining in sunny England, would you believe it? Um, okay, I'm going to take this uh, bishop. And now we will develop our queen. Now he has this move. Because my pawn is pinned, we could take with the queen. What am I saying? This knight is useless. Can't jump anywhere. And now I'm thinking about this move. And swinging the rooks over and, and going for an attack. He's still got two attackers here. He really wants to go after this pawn. I will keep the defenders here. 
here, here, here. I think we're going for this now. We could go this way, but this this seems more interesting. I'm attacking here, and I'm attacking here. So really, he should just trade off and then move his knight. But this gives me an opportunity to potentially attack him. So I will recapture here. Now I do have to be careful because I've blocked my bishop in and he can actually jump into the position here and um, win this pawn now. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I'm going to have to block here. Yeah, my 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 pawn is in trouble now. Maybe go here. He goes here, we take. So he takes here. We can capture. But then this is still weak because of the knight. Here. If I go here and he takes. I have to recapture with pawn. Because if I recapture with knight or rook, then he captures here. Oh, I just recapture here. What am I saying? And I can't recapture with rook because this rook will be undefended. I think this is the move. If he doesn't want to capture, I'm, I'm looking over here as well. Okay, so if I capture with rook, he can go here. So, And if I capture with knight, he can go here. So I really need to capture with pawn. And I'm still defending this guy. It's kind of a... Kind of a crazy game so far. If I go here, he captures, takes, and my pawns are doing okay. Don't think this is a bad move. I'm just looking at this, this, this. And I'd like to double my rooks if I can. Maybe doubling was, was smarter. I go here. I can't go here because then he just goes here and he wins my rook. Wait here. Say so he goes here. Capture, capture, capture. Let's do it. Is this a blunder? I, I don't know if this is a blunder. I don't think it is. I don't think it is, but, okay. I was threatening to take here, here, and then win a pawn, but it just doesn't seem all that great for me. Okay, and we'll try jump here and see what we can do. 
Now, if he mistakenly moves his rook to c8, we capture, he's forced to recapture, and we win a piece. I think I'm expecting him to push f6 at some point here soon. And as soon as he does, I think we just have to take. Yeah, okay. Now I can go here. And that gives space for my bishop. Here, it's, an, it's called an intermezzo. But then he goes here and he attacks my, my rook. And I need to stay protecting it. I don't think I have anywhere that I can go. I can come here. But here. Here. Here, here, here. Okay, we'll just go here. If he takes, we will capture. And we're the one capturing first. We have to capture. If he throws in a check, we just start walking up, I suppose. But we can't get past this pawn. I want to throw in this, but I can't yet. Give my king some air. guy seems to be playing very solid. I haven't seen any opportunity yet. Now, he does have this, maybe. Oh, did I really just hang a pawn? I did. Oh, no. Oh, that's really bad. It's no good. Okay, he's got this idea. Or he's going to check me. I go here. And then he can come here. No, no, not quite yet. Okay, I have this. He's going to push. And then we go here. I think. What about here? We'll also have a check here. Here, he comes here. Yeah. That would be good. Okay. Let's try to get my king up here. He can't uh, do this because we take. Try not get a pawn back if we're able to. Here. Because here, here, yeah, I think I'm okay here. I can actually get my knight on this square, here, here, and here. Which is a very nice square for it. I'm threatening this right now, so he has to defend this. Okay. OK. 
Can I win a pawn? These are both defended. This one isn't. Don't think I can get it, though. All right, let's continue moving. Up. Now, if he ever pushes here, we have a check. So, we can tick, tick, check, and win the pawn back. Got to hold on to the rook. The 1750s are so much better than 1650s. Oh. Did I really just do that? I didn't even think about it. Dang it. Well, I have to take the pawn. And now he has to take with knight. If he takes with knight, okay, he should have taken with knight. Because then he would have both of his pieces. Because I wouldn't have been able to recapture. That was stupid of him. Not saying I know any better, but... What am I doing? This is actually so bad. It just goes here. Falling apart, lads. Falling apart. This is not as easy as it might seem for him to draw. This is this is drawable for me. So this is a draw. He's fine, he just has to sack a pawn. Cause like if he goes here, yeah. If he goes here, this is a draw. If he goes here, I tick. And then he goes here. done oh, well played to him that was a tough one lads i just got beaten up by a 1700 let's check the review super fast i played with 73 and a half he played with 79.2 looks like there was a ton of blunders 
three blunders by me, two blunders by him. So this whole idea of my knight coming here and attacking his queen and bishop was good. Uh, I traded, which was what I was supposed to do, but I didn't realize that when he takes here, I actually have a fork. <sighs> That's so sad that I missed that. And here I was worried about this because of this move. But actually this move doesn't doesn't win for him because I have pawn to be a three attacking one of his pieces. So even though one of my pieces attacked, I'm attacking one of his pieces. So then here if he if he takes, I take. So here uh, this move, I think it was the blunder and that's funny. I think I said when I played the move, oh, this might be a blunder. Why is this a blunder? Because he has ideas of winning some material with this discover attack on my rook, like I said. So here, if I take if I take his rook, he actually takes my rook. So now I'm just done. I have to respond to this one. I can't take the next one because I'm in check. Didn't calculate this. So then here he would just win this and he's up uh, the exchange. So here, even though my bishop's in danger, it would have been better for me to check first. King d8, I was really worried about. But then we actually have knight f4. King can't take here because the bishop's holding. And if he takes here, we have a back ranker. So sad I missed this. I did have chances against this guy, I guess. I just got to spot him. Got to get better at the tactics. Another blunder here. I played b4 when I should have protected this pawn. This was the big blunder that I noticed in the game, but I uh, I really threw away my chances there. And here, oh, it's so simple. Just go here. I guess he has this move to attack my knight, but like I'm probably winning a pawn back. So if he goes here, I have check, he takes, and then I have my knight. So he's probably not gonna wanna do that. So most likely, He's going to jump away with this guy. And where's he going? Probably here. And then I take with check. Back here, um, he should have taken with knight because now what do I do? I just, I'm just down a piece. Instead, he took with rook. And when he takes with rook, that means I can capture his knight. So I have knight, he has rook. But this way, I have knight and he has knight and rook. Oh, well, it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed that game. If you can, smash the like. Send it to your friends. Put it in a Discord somewhere. Say you enjoyed this, even if you didn't enjoy it. And uh, let everybody know about how Blunderman is climbing to 1650. Not to 1750. He's going in the wrong direction. But we will climb back up. Don't worry. See you guys tomorrow.